Hi everybody, welcome back to Small Caliber Arms Review. If you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you'll know that I am not a gun professional. I am an enthusiast and hobbyist, and I've got a little bit of experience because I've been playing around with them for a long time. Anyways, uh, some of you have commented, uh, especially in my last video where I used my Leatherman to uh, take a screw out of a gun and said, oh my God, you should get a professional screwdriver set and not use a Leatherman. Now there are two screwdrivers in this set. One of them is just your standard flat blade piece, and it's not ideal for any screws on a gun. The other one that I used was one of these smaller ones right here, and this has a replaceable tip on it, and it's reversible too, so you can switch it around. You got a Phillips on one side and a regular on the other. This is a hollow ground screwdriver tip that's on here, and it's perfectly fine for, you know, in the field type stuff. Um, so I did not cause any damage with the screwdriver. You may have seen me slip a little bit in the video and that was after the screw was already broke loose and was most of the way backed out. It kind of slid off to the side. You can do that with even the best professional screwdrivers. It doesn't matter if it's just the amount of care that you take in doing it. Anyways, what I want to take a look at today is I have been using a really good set of screwdrivers with hollow ground tips, but I decided I would go ahead and purchase some actual gunsmithing screwdrivers. Now, these are not the extremely high dollar, $20, $30 a piece Grace wood handle screwdrivers, but this is from Wheeler and this is an 89 piece deluxe professional gunsmithing screwdriver set. And I got the 89 piece one. They do make some smaller sets. I got this one because it has some specific bits in it for things like the Ruger Vaquero, the base pin retention screw on there. The nut on the back of it is a specific driver that it takes to hold that nut down. You could use a pair of pliers if you wanted to, but that would definitely mar up the finish on it. It also has some really good screwdriver bits in there, specifically made for specific types of guns and for just most of the guns in general. When you start taking a look at some of these reproductions of the old Colt firearms or even some originals, the screws that they made on there are a little bit different than screws you find on guns today. So some of them have some you know, pretty wide, but really narrow slots cut in there. They use a slotting saw or slitting saw when they're cutting those. And some of those, um, those blades were really narrow. So you want a screwdriver bit that's gonna fit in them really well without any slippage or anything. And the way a hollow ground screwdriver is made, it's kind of curved up like that and then goes pretty much flat so that that bit doesn't wanna cam out. When you got one that's tapered, it wants to act as a cam sometimes and, and push its way out when you're twisting the screw. When you get into some of these really small black powder guns like this little uh, 1849 uh, uh, pocket, it has some really tiny screws in there with some really tiny slots cut in them. And most of the guns that you're gonna find have uh, regular screws in, just the slotted screw is what it's called. And when you get into some of the more modern guns with a lot of polymer and stuff on them, then you start getting into Phillips. So this 89 piece set here has a lot of different bits in it not just screwdriver bits, there's also punches, um, hex heads, all kind of stuff in there. So this is one of the things we wanna take a look at today. Also, when you're messing with any gun, it's either gonna be held together with screws or pins. So we went ahead and got, or I went ahead and got a hammer and punch set also from Wheeler. Now I am a Wheeler affiliate, they did not send me these, I purchased these with my own monies. So I got a hammer set here with a bunch of brass punches. Brass is gonna be less damaging since it's softer than the steel that you should be working on. It's not gonna damage the pins that you're gonna punch out. It does come with some steel ones, especially when you get into the smaller diameters because brass is just not gonna be strong enough to drive some of those pins out. And then another tool to go along with all this is a universal bench block. They make a couple different ones. This one I think is more uh, geared towards 1911s and uh, Ruger 1022s, but it's gonna be handy for driving any pins out of any gun. There are some different ones you can get, but um, this is a pretty handy one right here. And it's made out of a special plastic that's kind of non-marring to your finish. So it should not damage your firearm and should hold things securely so that you can drive those different pins out. Anyways, let's open these boxes up and take a closer look at each one of them and see what's in there. I'm not gonna go into a whole lot of detail because 89 pieces in a screwdriver set could take a while. Okay, so here's the set, and let's open it up. It comes in a molded plastic box. It's got your paperwork in there with it. Tells you a little bit about the screwdriver sets. 
uh, screwdriver bit location guide so you can see where each one of these things are. And I believe this is a sticker that you can put on the inside there, if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, there's your slew of bits. And like I said, there are a whole different a whole lot of different ones in here. This, I believe, is the one for the Ruger Vaquero, and it's this one screw. That's not the Ruger Vaquero. This is the Ruger Vaquero, and there's the one nut on the back there. So this bit is made to fit that, and it fits it so that it's you're not going to have any slippage or anything there while you go to the other side with a screwdriver and take that out. This is the only one I know of that specifically right now that I have a need for and it's only going to be available in some of the larger kits. Now some of you guys are going to have some different guns that have different things on them and there are a whole lot of specialty bits in here for a whole lot of different guns in there. Some of them are really unique to only that particular firearm. Some of the bigger ones like this, I think this is the... Um, Ruger, Weaver, um, there's a whole list in here that'll tell you which what each one of these is for. You got some really big screwdriver bits in here, and you've got some that are really narrow. Let's see if we can find one like this that will fit. This is a Pieta right here. No, that one's a little too big there, so you need to find the one that's going to fit your gun. And they have different blade widths on them too. So that one fits in there perfect. And it's hollow ground, so you're not gonna get that camming action when you go to try to twist that screwdriver or that screw out of there. So you've got thinner ones and they go up to thicker ones there. You wanna find the one that fits in there perfectly. You got some really small ones there and then they keep getting wider as they go up. You got a bunch of different uh, Phillips head bits, uh, a few Torx bits in there, several different uh, drive pins. If you're pushing pins out, that's what these are for. Um, but there's just a whole slew of them in there. A little socket head one for a specific use. And then you've got the two screwdriver handles in there. So each one of these fits in there. It does have a magnet that holds it in there, which will transfer some of that magnetic energy up to there. If you're picking up a screw, it should hold on to it. Uh, you don't want to lose any of them little tiny ones there. But you got two different screwdriver handles here, a longer one and a shorter one. And if you need, there is, um, I believe there's an extension right here. So if you've got a need for just a little bit more reach, that will hold in there. It does have a retaining spring inside there so your bit's not just gonna fall out on you. Most of this should cover any firearm that you're gonna be working on. All right, let's take a look at the next product I bought here. We'll get that slid out of the way and we'll take a look at the hammer and punch set here from Wheeler Engineering. And again, each of these comes in a molded plastic case to hold all your parts and pieces in place. Open that up and look, and there are our different punches in there. We got a 332nd, a 16th. You actually have two 16ths and two 332nds because they can't break. You know, depending on what you're doing, the pin you're driving on, and if you put any side force on it, you can break it. Nice little hammer in here, very secure in this package. Um, good weight to it. You don't need to drive anything. You don't need a five pound sledgehammer to uh, go knocking some of this stuff out of there. And I believe these uh, ends are replaceable on here. Uh, maybe not on this one. They do sell them with replaceable heads. They might just be really tight in there and I can't grip them with my fingers. So you got your hammer, which is securely held in place. You got several different brass punches on here or drifts. So if you need to uh, adjust a front sight for windage and it's uh, in a dovetail slot, you can tap it in or out. Uh, make sure you travel the right way with it. You've got some bigger straight punches here. These are actually plastic right here. These are, um, this is a 3 8 And I'm sure it's designed for a specific firearm too, but that's a big plastic punch there. So you're going to use that for pins that are, this one's the same way, plastic, that are not held in with a lot of pressure but you can actually get in there and push them out. I think some of the, um, like the Ruger 1022s, if I'm not mistaken, I think they got some big plastic pins in them. I know one of the guns I've got does. But anyways, that's the, the hammer and punch set, and that can be used in conjunction with the other tool. This is the Wheeler Universal Bench Block, and let's see if we can get this thing opened up. Got a little bit of tape on the sides there.
little instruction manual here shows you where different firearm pieces and parts and everything can be held in there. Like I said, this is kind of optimized for the Ruger 1020 or the um, yeah the Ruger 1022, and most of your 1911s are going to fit in various places in here. So there's your little bench block, and it's reversible. I think it's four inch diameter. It is set up specifically for different things. You slides, barrels. Um, barrel here the i think this one is for if i just seen correctly on here is um the the um barrel uh lug the little swinging lug on a 1911 barrel um so it's it's set up for several different things you don't have to use it only for those guns you can use it for several different ones so that you can hold it securely while you're taking your little pins there and driving out whatever pin that you need to. Pretty handy tools if you want to do any of your own gunsmithing stuff. You don't have to. You can always take it to a actual gunsmith, but some of the stuff that you should probably learn if you're going to have a firearm is how to disassemble it for uh, cleaning, field stripping, and stuff like that, which is not entirely complicated, and every owner's manual will usually have instructions in there to show you how to disassemble it for cleaning. Now, I've got some gun maintenance stuff to do, so i got a few parts here that uh, I need to get put in a couple guns, and um, I've got the tools to do it now, and this will be dedicated only to my gun stuff. My other set that I've been using in the past, I've used it for a lot of other things too, but this one right here, I want to keep it just for the gun stuff and nothing else. Anyways, thanks for watching Small Caliber Arms Review. I will put a link in the description below to take you to each one of these products. Like I said, Wheeler didn't send me these. But I am a Wheeler affiliate, and I can give you a little discount there if you want to purchase one. Uh, use the discount code. I think it's a small 10. It'll give you 10% off of your purchases from Wheeler Engineering and also Tipton and uh, Caldwell. So anyways, thanks for watching Small Caliber Arms Review. Happy gunsmithing.